Ragna is an offense-oriented rushdown character with high damage and strong mid-range tools. 5B is an excellent mid-range poke that leads to a full combo off any hit. His offense truly shines once he has meter, allowing the player to create tricky mix-ups with the use of rapid cancels. He's no slouch on defense either, thanks to his strong DP and anti-air. Ragna is a great choice for players who want an accessible, aggressive character with great footsies and damage. Jin is a flexible Shodo character with a tool for just about every situation. He has strong normals, a fireball, a fast overhead, and a variety of ways to reset pressure. His freeze mechanic opens up restand pressure and creativity on offense. Jin is a great choice for players who want a versatile neutral toolkit with strong frame trap and throw pressure. Infamously known as Blaze Blue's Gorilla, Azrael is an explosive and aggressive rushdown character. His teleport dash combined with his drive normals and plus unblock pressure resets make him an offensive powerhouse. His weak point mechanic rewards players for hitting someone with the same mix-up for massive damage. Azrael is recommended for players who love simple, offensive characters with high damage. Hakumin is a defensive character that thrives off of hard reads. He passively builds meter as the match goes on, and normals like Jump C and Force C allow him to harass the opponent out of range with strong pokes. When he has resources, Hakumin can chunk entire life bars off of one solid counter, forcing the opponent to take big risks or give up their offense altogether. Hakumin is recommended for players who love hard reads, parries, explosive damage, and massive poke normals. Tager is the go-to grappler of Blaze Blue, and he has all the things you'd expect a grappler to have. The thing that makes Tager unique is magnetism. Once the opponent is magnetized by one of his drive attacks, he can pull the opponents into his lodge normals and command throws rather than having to approach on his own. Common of the grappler archetype, Tager has high health and high damage, giving him room to win the game off of educated reads. Tager is recommended for players who love grapplers, slow neutral, and big damage. Platinum is a random item throw character, and her strengths vary depending on the item she has. Items such as presents, cat hammer, and bombs give her more neutral control, while the pan and hammer make her offense more dangerous. Packing solid damage, great footsies tools, and an overall strong neutral toolkit, Platinum is recommended for players who enjoy a strong neutral and adapting on the fly. Tsubaki is a flexible rushdown character who becomes more threatening as she charges her drive. Gaining drive stocks allows her to chain her specials into each other, making her more of a threat in offense as well as neutral. This, combined with her fast run speed, slow moving fireball, and advancing specials make her ideal for players who want a flexible, offense oriented toolkit. Relius is a versatile puppet character who excels at both locking down the opponent and controlling the pace of the neutral. Like most puppet characters, he is a monster up close, limited only by the player's ability to manage the doll gauge. However, he has a surprisingly strong neutral game, able to harass opponents with his long-range doll specials and control the mid-range with his excellent poke normals. Relius is a great choice for players who love puppet characters and control in both the neutral and offense. Like Relius, Carl is a puppet character who excels at locking down the opponent. 
Unlike Relius, Carl has a deep focus on strong offense. Lows, overheads, looping unblockables, and constant lockdown make him one of the scariest characters in the game once he has the opponent cornered. He is also one of the hardest characters in the game, requiring negative edge special move inputs to run even his most basic game plan. Carl is recommended for players who want to focus on ending the round as soon as the opponent is cornered and love high execution. Though a little unorthodox, Izioi has one of the most versatile toolkits in the game. Strong pokes, great mobility and gain up mode, fireballs, fast overheads, keep away, teleports, you name it, Izioi can probably do it. Her mode change in stocks means she only gets scarier as the match goes on. Izioi is recommended for players who love versatility, stance changes, and neutral control. Izanami is a versatile character who excels at almost everything. Her toolkit is filled to the top with power, including the infamous rib cage that allows her to auto guard any attack at the cost of her barrier gauge. On offense, she can use her float ability to set up fuzzy high lows and nasty cross up setups. Many players consider her a serious contender for strongest character in the game. Izanami is recommended for players who want a very complex character that can seamlessly transition between rushdown and keep away. Hibiki is a more well-rounded, offense-oriented character. His clones are solid, neutral tools for harassing the opponent or closing distance quickly, and he has great mid-range footsies with his 3C and low-profiling 2B. His strong strike throw pressure can lead to high damage with explosive overdrive combos, and his commanding air control with Jump C, Jump B, and Azuna Drop make him a strong aerial fighter. Hibiki is recommended for players who want a well-rounded character geared towards offense, or if you just love the ninja aesthetic. Celica is a well-rounded character with a versatile toolkit for playing neutral. Her 5B and Jump C are excellent pokes that give her commanding mid-range presence. She can be quite difficult to pin down thanks to her huge dive kicks and large active hitboxes on her drive follow-ups. Celica's main mechanic is her blue health, which she can use to heal herself or spend on enhanced versions of specials, opening up new combo routes and mix-ups. Celica is recommended for players who want a well-rounded character with strong mid-range pokes and a little bit of gorilla. One of Blaze Blue's most infamous characters, Arakune is a set play monster. His high air mobility and full screen harassment tools give him solid keep away neutral. Once he finds the hit to trigger curse, he can completely alter the flow of the round, forcing the opponent to hold an onslaught of mix ups that grant explosive high damage rewards. Arakune is great for players who love forcing the opponent to block their setups and turning the tide off of a single hit. Falkenhayn is a pure rushdown character with high mobility and some of the dirtiest mix-ups BlazBlue has to offer. Wolf Break Jump A is an unreactable overhead that forces players to constantly guess low overhead anytime they're blocking Wolf Form. Almost any clean hit that he finds in neutral can carry the opponent to the corner, and his mobility also provides him with an excellent whiff punish game. Falkenhayn is recommended for players who love unreactable high lows, high execution, resource management, and high mobility. Lychee is a mode change character who evolves around placing her staff. You can use it for keep away, rush down, setups, offense, and defense. Staff stance has long range pokes and great defensive options, while staffless sacrifices range in exchange for speed and more mix up tools. Her raw versatility combined with her damage make her a serious threat. She's not easy to use however, as Lychee players need to adjust their decisions and combos to the staff positioning at all times. Lychee is recommended for players who love managing two characters, versatility in their game plan, and high damage.
Tao Kaka is one of the most mobile characters in the game, but unlike other characters, she is completely unrestricted, not limited by an external resource to stay mobile and neutral. This makes her both difficult to catch and difficult to keep out at the same time. Her drive gives her even more mobility, as well as cross-ups and relentless rushdown. Tao Kaka is recommended for players who love mobility above all else. Naoto is an aggressive rushdown character who can overwhelm the opponent with his sheer variety of pressure options. Although he lacks the reach of other characters in the game, his dash enhanced specials allow him to close distance quickly. He has high, sometimes very explosive damage output, and one of the best reversals in the game with his 9 frame Inferno Crusader. Naoto is a great choice for players who want a fast, high damage, offense oriented character. Jubei is all about dancing around the screen and rushing down the opponent. While seemingly unimpressive at the start of the match, Jubei becomes a monster once he uses his install to change the properties of his drives and specials. His mobility in install is absurd, not only for getting in, but also for running away and stalling for time. Jubei is recommended for players who want high mobility accompanied by great setups in a strong mix-up game, or for furries. Rachel is a setup zoning character who controls the neutral by placing lightning rods and frogs on the screen. Using wind, she has complete control over the placement of her traps and projectiles. She's not limited to strong zoning, however. Rachel actually has strong offense thanks to her instant wind overheads and coffin setup damage. Rachel is recommended for players who love setting up traps and employ both zoning and rushdown. Terumi is an explosive rushdown character who is all about fast meter gain and resource dumps. While his meterless offense is nothing to write home about, he quickly becomes a threat once he has full resources, allowing him to steal rounds off of a single hit. Terumi is recommended for players who want to move fast, snowball quickly, and deal big damage. Kagura is Blaze Blue's only charge character. While he does sport both a flash kick and a sonic boom, he's quite the opposite of the Guile archetype. Instead, he is a big body with massive normals, huge damage, and unique offense with the use of his stances. Any successful counter hit on Kagura will deal devastating amounts of damage to the opponent. Kagura is recommended for players who love charge motions, big damage, and high reward payoffs. Susano has massive poke normals that make him the perfect gorilla. Jump C, 5B, 6B, and 3C give him excellent reach with huge damage rewards. With a plus 3 jab and a 2 hit advancing plus 4 normal in 6B, Susano can frame trap characters for days, punishing impatient players with massive counter hit combos. His main gimmick is having to unlock specials using his drives, making him a bigger threat in every stage of the game as the match progresses. Susano is recommended for players who love big damage, big frame traps, big normals, and unlocking specials as the match goes on. S is a neutral powerhouse with excellent zoning and great mid-range control. 
Setting up her crest allows her to control space for extended periods of time, and they can also be used on offense to set up for instant overheads with JC. She has excellent corner carry and a toolkit that's capable of answering almost any character in the game. S is recommended for players who want to control neutral with fireballs and ranged normals. Hazuma is an aerial keep away character, able to harass you from a distance and convert into full combos with his chains. The sheer number of options from his chains make him difficult to pin down in neutral. Up close, he can bully the opponent with plus frames, command throws, and stance mix ups. Hazuma is recommended for players who love annoying the opponent by flying around the screen and seamlessly transitioning to up close pressure. <laughs> Kokonoe is a set play machine who pollutes the stage with a variety of traps. These traps can be used to help control the neutral or set up for some seriously dirty mix-ups. The MVP here is the Graviton, which allows you to shift gravity towards or away from the Graviton to manipulate positioning. She's capable of dealing high damage with the use of meter and golden tagger combos. Kokonoe is recommended for players who are all about traps and crazy setups. Amane is one of Blaze Blue's most unique character designs. His floaty mobility and huge normals allow him to dance around the screen, frustrating opponents in neutral while looking for opportunities to level up his drill. Once his drill reaches level 3, he becomes a chip damage powerhouse, not even needing to open up the opponent to deal massive damage. Amane is recommended for players who love long range, floaty mobility, and chipping opponents to death. Bang is a high mobility rushdown character who thrives on creativity both on offense and in neutral. With two air dashes, nails, and excellent speed, he can smoothly maneuver in and out of the opponent's attack range. On offense, he can use command throws and bumpers to keep the opponent guessing in tense situations. His drive allows him to parry the opponent's attacks, opening up massive damage on hard reads and on defense. Bang is recommended for players who love mobile, versatile characters and thrive on explosive hard reads. Mai is one of the most straightforward and unique characters in Blaze Blue. Unlike most characters, she has several preset attack strings similar to those found in a Tekken or Mortal Kombat game. Her normals, air flips, homing projectile, dive kicks, and spear charge give her an excellent neutral game. Up close, Mai can stagger with her low 2A and command dash to reset pressure. Mai is recommended for players who want a mobile, hard-hitting character with strong neutral tools and stagger pressure. Nine is a neutral queen, capable of frustrating players with her teleport dash, huge anti-airs, and big disjointed ground pokes. Her unique spell mechanic gives her a ton of offense variety, excellent for players who love pool setups. She's also the only character in the game who can reverse beat, which can be mixed with her overhead rock to create tricky high-low setups. Nine is a great choice for players who love slow neutral, high-low mix-ups, and large disjointed normal. Makoto is a relatively simple, all-out rushdown character. She can charge her drive normals and specials to extend combos, reset pressure, or frame trap the opponent for massive damage. Makoto trades range for fast, hard-hitting normals and has one of the fastest dashes in the game. Her special moves offer a surprising amount of variety, including a counter, a DP, 
clone illusions with many different follow-ups, and a projectile. Makoto is recommended for players who want a simple rushdown character and like to be up close and personal. Mu-12 is a character all about the neutral game. Steins pollute the screen and her ability to fire lasers or send them to the opponent at any time can make it suffocating for characters in neutral. Her powerful mid-range pokes and massive damage are just icing on the cake. She's no slouch on offense either, as Steins can also be used to extend her pressure. Mu is a great choice for players who love placing objects on the screen and controlling the neutral game. Bullet is an explosive grappler capable of dealing massive damage. Her main trait is the heat mechanic, which greatly improves her mobility and damage output as she levels up. Up close, she's able to threaten the opponent with command throws, blows, and a standing overhead. Bullet is recommended for players who want an easy execution grappler with massive damage. Noelle is an offensive character with the ability to freestyle her pressure using the Chain Revolver stance. In the stance, Noelle gains access to new attacks with a variety of invulnerability and mix-up properties. She can also be quite tricky and neutral, with many normals and specials that can change her positioning and air momentum. Noelle is recommended for players who want an emphasis on flexible, easy, freeform offense. Nu is a long-range, zoning character that can transition into high-low setups thanks to her Luminous Slave. Luminous allows Nu to charge and unleash an additional homing sword attack. This can be used for combos off her fast overhead or to keep stronger control of the neutral game. Nu is recommended for players who want to focus on zoning, but are rewarded with high-low setups. Like Nu, Lambda is a Murakumo zoner. They share many of the same normals, specials, and distortion drives, but their styles are quite different, as Lambda trades the ability to set up with Luminous for more offensive tools. Lambda comes with a standing overhead, Rekos, and a lockdown special that gear her more towards aggression. Lambda is recommended for players who want to focus on zoning with the ability to also threaten up close. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to see more footage of characters, check out keeponblaze.in. It's a searchable database that lets you find matches of specific players or characters. I'll link it in the description.